it was that your intention when starting out um, to, to uh, travel and experience all different, or did that sort of is that just where it, it led um, led your path? No, no. I think when you when you're doing your bachelor's or your your master degree, you're thinking, oh, I just want to finish my master degree. You think, oh, I'm gonna apply for a job. They like the fact that I got qualifications, and then you're gonna go and I don't know to big teams. And then that's how you're gonna stick there until you win the Champions League or a World Cup. Yeah. But it really it's doesn't work. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't yeah. work like that. You you go, you finish, you obviously you approach by your your practical hours and, and your experiences and your qualifications. But then um, at some point uh, you go, okay, well, I gotta finish this job and then move to a next one. And you go level by level, step by step. That's kind of the way I see it. What are sort of the different dem- match demands um, between club football and, and national football teams? And how does that it sort of influence your preparation? Uh, sure. As the head of performance, yeah. For sure. Um, well, in terms of preparation, it's, it's very different. In, in a club scenario, you can do a tactical periodization because you will have either two matches a week or a match per week. So you go through, through what we call today extensive intensive small side of games like really small side of game or large medium um sort of small side of games and then you as you have a routine and you have a week to prepare you can plan your lifts your strength sessions accordingly like if you're doing i don't know my scenario is if i do a high speed run session and we do that on on wednesdays which is an extensive day. From a area of focus, like you mentioned, those 12 week camps uh, where it's it's quite cutthroat, it's ruthless, you're really pushing the boundaries of what's physically yeah. possible. Um, how did you best learn to maximize a 12 week camp if you've never run one before? Like, obviously, now you've had a few under your belt, but the first time was that leaning on um, practitioners that you, you know, I guess mentors, or was it a bit of trial and error? Yeah, talk us through your mindset for preparing for your first sort of national level camp. Um, I think it was a combine. It was, it was really combine of, of feelings because it was really my first kind of uh, international experience. I had, you know, this bag of full of energy and wanted to do so much and not understanding so well the, the Indian culture until I got there and after the first week where I was like, oh, hang on a minute. I need to slow down a little bit. I need to realize where I am and I need to focus now of what I want. I would have, in a national team camp, you have <clears throat> like senior, older senior players and then you have a medium range age players. What would a common week look like? Is that, yeah, you mentioned two extensive sessions in one day when you're doing your AM and PM session, high speed work, but then the next yep. day be more acceleration, deceleration sort of day. Yep. And yeah, how would that, what would that mean for the third day of the week? Sure. No, I, I will do like, again, we, we had the opportunity. And when I say we, is, is Danny Deegan, uh, the head of uh, performance or SNC at that time. And, and myself is like, we had um, Stephen Constantine as a head coach and he he really he really understand the sport science and and if you can back it up with and justify with numbers or science no problems so when i say this is like the mornings they were more physical demand so we would have the high speed let's say the two days high speed run and then say let's call it tuesday and then wednesday as a high speed run in the morning tuesday and in the morning on on Wednesday, but then the afternoons were more like football based, more like, okay, what he wants to do. Like, and for instance, he would have gone through, okay, I want them to play, but I want to focus on the tactical part. What do you think are sort of some of the more common mistakes, both in national level and uh, club land for strength conditioning coaches that are, um, I guess, new to that environment? Maybe it's their first time working in a national level um, and they've got a lot of club experience. Um, yeah, what would be some of the common mistakes that are made early, I guess, or key learnings? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> common mistakes, and, and probably I was, I, I made uh, mistakes when I came from national teams, few few years with the national team and I came 
um, you sort of coming from national team to club, you sort of think, um, I have time, don't worry, during the preseason, and you plan very specifically, and then you go, oh, I will do this on, on days that, you know, that I can, I have a winner opportunity. But reality is, it's not. Like, when you start the season, and it's week by week, you don't have the time, and you have to be really flexible. 